Dr. Philip Dress reporting. Today is October 29th, of Monday. Everything is closed. It's about 7.30 in the morning. It's dark as hell. It's deserted. It's, everything is absolutely deserted. Stores are still open. I'm over here at the York College Auditorium. That's the main building right there off of Liberty and Guy Brewer Boulevard. I'm going to have to venture out. The wind is not, it's not too bad. It's gusting at about 13, 14 miles an hour down here at this level. Um, the rain is starting to come down as compared to the mist that was going on for about 8, 9, 10 hours. And now it's starting to be rain out here. And I got to venture down here into the ghetto, into the ghetto, near the 40 projects right over here. That's the next people that's about to get evicted in order to give your college room for students as dorms. It is alleged. It is alleged. So right now we're going to go down here to the ghetto. We're going to partake of the blessings of Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg, who bought a black market economy of cigarettes, made it so expensive that you got to buy them for 50 cents a piece. I'm going down there and get me some because they tried to make me quit at the VA hospital. I know I wanted to quit, but I want to quit when I want to quit. You're not going to force me to quit by locking me up against my will in order to contain the abuses against homeless veterans at the Cromwell Volunteers of America shelter. Real nice place, but there's a Charmaine McPherson who comes there. Her job is to put the Willie Lynch chip, it is alleged, to put the Willie Lynch chip in her brother, to make you afraid, to punk you out, push your buttons. Those are the allegations of the vets. I've got it on one of my shows on YouTube. I sent that information to, I, well, I gave that information to Dr. Julia Golia, a wicked bitch who helped orchestrate a criminal matter against me that didn't work. It ended up being a medical matter the way I was taken by ambulance, forced to be put in an ambulance, and taken to the Bronx VA hospital where I was abused through the misuse and abuse of mental hygiene laws by locking me up for psychiatric evaluation for about uh, six, seven days. And that gives me a cause of action for a million dollar claim against the VA and Volunteers of America. And I must expose the misuse and abuse of mental hygiene laws for the second time against me as a whistleblower. The VA, just an absolute piece of shit organization. When you're a black vet, all they can do and see you is a bipolar piece of shit. That needs to be locked up and contained. And these guys shouldn't be allowed to stay in business. My job is to put Dr. Julia Golia out of business. The way she's doing her thing. She's a psychiatrist. that kept telling Dr. Shear to keep me, keep me, keep me in there. And I will expose a letter. And it will be on my website, www.africana51.com which are the 72-hour notices that I put in to the VA in order to be released. They were ignored. I was released on Thursday. Today is Monday. And that interfered with my business of the litigation where I didn't have time to respond to the... Uh, I didn't have time to answer the responses of the uh, Assistant Attorney General, Michael Siddiqui, who's representing Eric T. Schneiderman, and it is alleged Eric T. Schneiderman wants to be as popular as Dr. Phil Dreis on YouTube, the way he just actually just railroaded him a nigga. I mean, he just railroaded him a nigga. It was a political lynching of Shirley L. Huntley, who I sued for a million dollars because of the violation of the separation of powers and other egregious malfeasance by the seats of all of the black elected officials of Southeast Queens, who it is alleged are a bunch of black nigger 
traitors to their conquered race and stasis as black Americans in America going nowhere. They're absolutely going nowhere. It's a kind of race that's just gutter crap. Gutter, gutter, gutter crap. You know why? Because they're cowards. They won't fight for their rights. They won't for nothing. Now it's the 5th Congressional District here because the Mexicans done jacked their stuff. Mexicans done jacked their stuff, took their stuff, funked them out, and made all them weak, coward bastards run back down south. And in New York City, you must be aware of the Jewish influence that is railroad nigger and will abuse nigger. And I'm a Haitian. I will not fall into the class of the nigger with the African Americans. And so therefore I must be punished. They will be trying to tame me and to try to make me a good nigger when they put somebody like Sean Mc McPherson on duty at a Volunteers of America site and their job is to punk your bitch ass out because you're a homeless vet. Well, guess what? Bang to your mama. Yep, that bitch should have had an abortion. So I want everybody to be happy that we're right here walking around in Sandy and it looks like it's going to be doing this all day long and I'll be completely rejuvenated, hopefully completely repaired so I can go ahead and go to court and just bust the ass of the Attorney General's office, the New York City Law Office, New York City Housing Authority, and punk out Grande, the lawyer, that rich white woman, Jewish white woman, um, Donna Fury. She is the one called evaluator who also helped human resource and adult protective services misuse and abuse mental hygiene laws and having me adjudicated and capacitated for 30 days in order for Ed Strobain to go to my house, take $100,000 of stuff out of there, put it in storage, and guess what? They didn't pay the bill. Human resources didn't pay the bill. Nobody paid the bill. And my stuff is gone, and she's in court, and I want $300,000 from her. That's called trouble damages. When you commit fraud and you have a cause of action, you can get three times. So this is Sandy, another bluff. Bye-bye.